Hello there, and welcome back to Darkwood, where it is day 33, not even an hour until night time, and I am stuck below the radio tower with basically no weapons. Fortunately, there's a time freeze going on, but I am in pretty deep doo doo. Last time, I. well, went to the radio tower, investigated, found a lot of banshees, used up all my weapons. Well, basically, I think I have one shot left in my handgun and maybe one swing with the first weapon there. But other than that, I am kind of screwed. So yeah, radio tower, banshees, went down into the underground tunnel, hit some weird mushrooms, hallucinated, which... What happened? It was... I was stumbling around some... Cavern or something, cavern or cave. Then I was back in the doctor's house in the beginning of the game, and I got eaten by the Decatrice evil twin, basically, while killing things. It was weird. Question is if I had stood a bit away and thrown a Molotov cocktail, at these mushroom thingies, would I still have hallucinated? Or would I have missed that? I don't know. Too late to do anything about that now. I came from the lift. I don't think I pulled this lever. The floodgates are open. Right, I came from the, flood from the floodgates. So what's... I think I came from this direction. So should I go south or should I go to the right? If anything shows up, I'm screwed. I do have a flashlight, so I might as well use that. Oh, weird mouth thing. And there's a shovel. Also, very smoky air. I hope that's not... Examine. Dot, dot, dot. Search. Odd meat. I don't need any more meat. I... You only have one chance. What? I'm sorry? One chance for what? Dot, dot, dot. Searched. To the right, then. Uh, metal door. Did I come from the right? No, I came from the left, right? This kind of looks like some kind of abandoned mine tunnel. Okay, so I can s It gets darker if I look all the way. But if I just look over here, it's still bright. Okay. Hey, another mouth. Dot, dot, dot. More meat. Don't need more meat. Are you gonna talk to me too? No? Okay. Yeah, this is dark. I should... Yep. Yep. Yep, there's nothing weird about this. At least the ambient music is dying down. Yep, yep, yep. This is fine. Hey, 21! I remember the number 21. It was on the armored door. Ooh, pick up another shovel. It was on the armored door in the underground passage in the dry meadow. Okay. And might as well. Oh, I have three shovels. Nice. Uh, north or south? North, because it seems like the it's a dead end. 
And that root just looks like a hand. All right. This place is weird. Into the south. Oh. Can I? Do I have batteries on me? And... This item is used up, but I can reload it. Can I reload it with... Yes. Good. So that's confirmation. Where, what the batteries? I... Okay. Sure. I'm still on a time freeze. But I'm out in the open. Don't need the flashlight right now. I assume... I thought that thing moved. I shouldn't have been able to see that because it was behind me, but sure. I assume that's where I came from. Examine the oven. Light the oven. The oven is lit again. Okay, so at least it's saved here. Oh, that takes a while to wind up. Backpack? Wardrobe. Oh. Oh. Okay, make a few bandages. I always use bandages. Instead of the torch. Have one Molotov cocktail. Can't make another Molotov cocktail because I need a workbench to do that. This music is kind of low-key positive. Like a um, what's the word I'm looking for? I don't know. It'll come to me. Probably. Note about the bundle of roots. The roots have made it impossible to dig further. Specialist tools will be needed if we are to go deeper. Observation. The roots of individual trees intertwine to create bundles, braids, with the thickness of 120 centimeters. That's... Thick. Sheesh. The ones we analyze always grow towards the northeast. Taking into account the result from the dig sites from other regions, we can assume that the, that the bundles came together in sector zero, I guess? We have accumulated about five liters of the substance that flows through the roots. There's something flowing through the roots that's not water? Okay. As expected, it has it has lost its shape-shifting abilities. After being disconnected from the root from the stream, to be exact. Something was connected to the root. And could shape-shift. But now can't. Okay. Northeast, you say? What if I want to go northwest? Nothing here, I guess. Eh, eh. Nope, can't walk any further. Right. Fine. I shall go northeast. Or follow this barely visible road. Achievement unlocked. Merciful. Huh? Huh. 
Oh, there's a tree. There's one root, and there's another root. The 100, 120 centimeter thick roots. Oh, that's a lot of roots. Is that a... Nope. I thought these looked like a one of those um, chests. No, this is just a wagon of some sort. And a lot of roots. And the different coloration heart here kind of look makes it look like farmland. Oh. Hi. Summon the scarecrow. That's a some sort of diver helmet or hazmat suit, old timey hazmat suit. All right, this is still weird. Am I supposed to go this way? I am finding things. Oh, trees. What's in this backpack then? More healing. Sure. Pills that I never used and thus don't know what they do. Is that... is that... yeah, that's a body. I can't do anything with it. Can I? No. Can't chop it down. Bloodstained rope. A ragged rope with traces of dried blood and pieces of hazard suit glued to it. Okay. That's a lot of trees on the ground. Something came through here. Hopefully something natural, like a terrible storm. I'm still kind of calmed thanks to the music. Can't go through there. Can I go around this? Yes, I can. Good. This is nothing. This is nothing either. Well, it's something, but I can't interact with it. There's a house. But before we go in there... Ooh, another backpack. Jar with a sample. Item found jar with a sample. Sample indeed. P21. That number keeps coming back. Hi. Oh, I didn't see you first. Under the tarp. Search the corpse. Damage shortwave radio. Oh, I need to drop things now. A useless damaged handheld radio. Forgot to mention bloody. I do want this. Yes. No, I still want that one. Um, screw the empty bottle. Extra magazine. Uh, do I want the military flashlight over the. Yeah, I do. And uh, instead of uh, the flare, I'll take the battery. And now I can uh, pick up the flare again. Oh, wait. <coughs> Sorry. 
I did have another flashlight, okay. There's still a time freeze, so... I can explore... Peacefully. That's a dead savage. With a rope, so... Do I need rope? I don't really need rope. I have a lot of rope at home. And nothing to use it on. I mean, I could. Oh, that sounded like something. I could bash my way in. Let's see if there's an opening first, though. More tarp. Sure, let's go under it. Wardrobe. More rags. Good. Another oven. A destroyed oven. The jar with the protective substance lights shattered on the ground. On the ground, okay. A plate with half a eaten moldy sandwich. No one home? Anyone home? Empty wardrobe. Note about walls of trees. The structure resembles a honeycomb. The surface of multiple of surface of particular cells. Why where did I get multiple from? Particular cells var varies from 80 to as many as 360 square kilometers. Holy crap. Okay. The cells gradually divide into smaller ones. It can be assumed that with time, the forest will achieve a homo homogeneous, homogeneous, homogeneous form. Okay. The trees grow with a remarkable regularity, forming walls with the average thickness of 50 meters. 50 meter thick tree wall? The hell? The distances between trunks are never higher than 10 centimeters. Okay, that's a lot. Uh, according to preliminary al analysis, only 151 of the total volume. I think that's 151. Of the total volume consists of actual trees, although this figure is hard to verify. So what's the other... What does the other volume consist of? This is interesting, but unsettling. So this structure they're, they're talking about, is this, is that the... Is that something surrounding the area we're in, or are we talking about a totally different structure? Because I think people have at least been talking about some kind of... The, the trees being in the way so they can't leave. So would that be the 50 meter thick tree wall? Oh, speaking of thick trees. Okay. This is a very strange area. No enemies, but it did give me an assault rifle. Hello? Who might you be? Savage? A stone throwing savage? Alright. Tree roots, extremely thick roots, a lot of individual roots, twinned into some kind of, kind of twinned into a braid, but way thicker than 150 centimeters. I 
Okay, so that's the end for the east path, I think. Oh. Maybe this is the tree wall? I guess it said that the distance between trunks were never more than a 10 centimeters, but... Alright, no, can't go more this way. Let's try going north then. Nope, oh, assault rifle, please. I found two dead savages. Still no real clue about where I am or why I'm here. Yeah, yeah, no. Oh, here we go. More building. In the middle of the trees. But nothing there. Blockade. Remove. Okay, I just removed the blockade. There's a door. Do I still have a lantern? No, of course I don't. A colorless goo sips from the cracks in the asphalt. Colorless goo, would that be the substance flowing in the tree roots? I can keep going east, or I can go west. Or south. Oh, that's a lot of footsteps, I think. Should I follow the spooky footsteps or should I follow the road? Well, it's called dark wood, so let's follow the spooky footsteps. Into a grassy area. With more buildings. Oh, you are moving. Can I? Oh, the tr the three, the traders. I didn't recognize you. The light coming through the trees. The three are staring at the tree. They pay no attention to me. Okay, my. You're staring at that tree. Okay, let me. Take a gander this way first. No, nothing there. Ooh, wooden door. Wardrobe, empty wardrobe. You really want me to go towards that tree, don't you? <clears throat> Fine. Fine, fine. Talking tree. In the shadows, I notice the pulsating vastness of the gigantic tree trunk. In the distance, above the roots, I can see the destroyed roofs, roofs of the flooded village. 
The area is, is shrouded in almost complete silence. There's a big tree, alright. Some village. You've spared us. The voice is coming from between the dark boughs, but I can't see its owner. This road will lead you home. Nothing will stand in your way anymore. And I haven't done anything, I've just explored. Eh? Alright, Mr. Talking Tree, or Miss Talking Tree. I will move forward, but you're standing in my way, <laughs> so I can't really move forward. But you are standing in my way, even though you said nothing was in my way, and you're still staring at the tree. Can you let me through? No, 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 you spared us. This road will lead you home. Nothing will stop. Or do you mean the actual road? Because I can't go anywhere here. Oh, search. Thought something said search. Destroyed well, search. Oh, rope. Oh, I can't even. Oh, can barely see that well. Let's reload. Fine, I guess I go back to the road. Uh, speaking of roads, this road, the road home. So should I go west or should I go east? Not west. Yes, I'm going east. On the backpack. Torch, sure. Exchange my used torch for a new torch. Hey, you. Nothing. The road home. Are these people frozen in time or You kind of seem look like you grabbed by roots. You definitely look like you're grabbed by roots. Yeah, this is looking worse and worse. Did you lie to me, tree? There's a lot of things in my way. A lot of weird things in my way. And the crowd is thinning out. And it's getting brighter again, slightly at least. And there are trees in my way again. Anything with the truck? No? Alright. I guess I'll go off road. Just wandering through the forests on a lot of weird looking mushrooms. 
is there's a path here and no talking trees or any weird traders. And it's getting darker. It's getting very dark. And I reached the end of the road. I guess I found my way home. Epilogue. I am here now. No weapons or anything. Not even my flashlights. Just walking through the thick woods. Hopefully not followed by evil creatures. There's a lot of trees here. Oh, okay. I am so anticipating an ambush somewhere. Maybe not. This looks kind of normal. Power lines? Kind of look like the kind of power line placement I would make in SimCity. Sure. Big grassy field. With a lot of nothing. Ooh, a house. And I still have a stamina meter, it seems. Well, maybe not a house. What are these, solar panels? Actual civilization. Sandbar, hello. Where are you? And they're gone. Who's going to eat the bread now? Are you, you can give me the bread. I don't mind. What the hell is this? Oh, ma'am, can you tell me anything? Neighbor. My first floor neighbor. Good day. Good day to you. This is my staircase. Pleased to see you, mister. Haven't seen you in a while. No, I've been stuck in a forest for 33 days. Kind of you to notice. Apparently someone was too lazy to bring it down the stairs and throw it in the trash. Oh, you have those kind of neighbors. Okay, and you just kind of want to bitch slap sometimes. Scribbles. It's probably the work of the kids from the neighboring apartment block. But yes, but what does it mean? I still don't speak Polish. And a lot of Eek. And I'm guessing this is my apartment then. Use key. I am home sweet home. Yeah, I dreamt slash hallucinated about this, didn't I? It's my wardrobe. Take off your coat. Yes. 
Let's get cozy. I left the bedroom. And explored my house, and then someone knocked on my door, and I opened up, and the dream ended, I think. Bathtub. I'm barely standing on my feet. I'll take a bath tomorrow. You're never too tired to take a bath. Use the sink. Washing machine. The Frania washing machine. I spent two days in the queue to get it. That sounds familiar. Some note is lying on the table. From the... I've made you some soup. Heat it up. 30-day old soup. The old trusty gas stove. There's still some soup in the pot. Again. 30-day old soup. The smell fills the entire kitchen. Cook. I grab the largest dish from the closet under the sink and pour myself a bowl. It's not much, but it's enough. I don't remember the last time I've eaten a home dinner. No, because I've subsisted on uh, sometimes bread, but mostly weird mushroom and odd meat essence. Ugh. Oh, it's kind of good, actually. Properly seasoned, I hope. Exit. That's a good meal. I think that was the bedroom. Let's go there last. Hi, Zurek. Oh, pet the doggy. Good boy, good boy. A dog I don't have to whack in the head. Let's pet him again. Good boy, good boy. Yes. Search my wardrobe for a piece of fabric I can't pick up. I can throw it on the floor. Because I have no inventory anymore. Bedroom key. Okay. Guess I'll just leave the fabric there. Was that you, doggy? Zurek? My TV set, the black and white Rubin, a real luxury. Unfortunately, it's broken. Folding couch, I'm very tired. I'd, I'd prefer to lie down in a regular bed. I need a key. I picked up a key. Use key. Unlocked with key, bedroom key. Why do you lock your bedroom door? I mean, if it's, if it's because you don't want the dog to come in, you can just close the door and have to... Wait, this music, isn't this kind of the main menu music? Let's go inside the bedroom. But no sign of the person I was with. My bed. It's my bed. The white crumpled sheets look as I as if I've just woken up. At last. I feel my sore legs buckling underneath me, my body becoming heavy and overwhelmingly lethargic. It was a grueling journey, 33 days of human torment. A sedating warmth washes over me, a warmth of security and... Happiness. You really do look pooped, man. Go get some sleep. I mean, I still don't know why the hell you went in there, how you got in there. You still had your shoes on in your apartment? Okay. And we go to sleep. So you're living right next to the whole forest thing? But 
Achievement unlocked Blessed. The rustle of the woods stretching away to the horizon kept the stranger awake for a long time. I can imagine. Eventually fatigue washed over him and the man fell into fell into a deep, much desired dream. What did you dream about? The road he followed to get home was devoured by the talking tree. This way the last exit from the woods was sealed, closing the remaining inhabitants inside. Good, they don't deserve to get out, especially not that friggin' wolfman. Screw him. The doctor, fearing the revenge of the man dressed in a scarecrow costume, disappeared deep into the wilderness. The unfathomable fathomable visions that haunted him eventually led the local physician to the edge of madness. Good. In the end, however, they became obvious transmissions, and the forest became his new home. I never did find the doctor, did I? I followed him to the underground passage and got out at me. Got, yeah, ex exited into the swamp. The wolf made a triumphant return to his hideout, the bastard, his ego growing even bigger as he basked in the glow of his loot. However, the sweetness of his victory was not able to satisfy his single deepest desire. To escape? I really wish I would have killed the wolf. The woman living with the chicken stayed in the village to tend to her sick sister. One day she heard a clatter coming from her sibling's room. When the chicken lady ran into the room, she found the door broken and the chamber empty. Only the well-worn bed and an old blanket remained after her sister. Can I... could I have changed all these things? When left to her own devices, the chicken lady's sister freed herself and set out to hunt for fresh meat. Maybe she wouldn't have done that if the violin boy was still alive. Piotrek never finished building his rocket. He remained in the woods, dreaming about space travels. I forgot about you. The woman living with her two children in the barricaded cottage at the swamp looked out for her missing son for many days. One day, she heard a voice coming from the forest depths. Eventually, her longing for the child won, won over her fear of trees. The woman closed the other children in the house with food provisions for a couple of days and set out into the woods, listening for distant calls. I don't think I even met her. At least I can't remember meeting her. The missing son of the elephants moved into the mushroom infested hut. I definitely wasn't there. The old lady who owned the place finally remembered her previous incarnation when observing the boy playing in the corner of the room. For a short moment, she even felt like a human being when the boy put down his charcoal and paper to sit down on her knees. I'm guessing the, these things were all kind of like side quest things maybe which I could have gone and changed the course of the crippled old man descended into madness unable to free himself from the moaning tree whose roots completely devoured the flooded village was the flooded village the I can't can't have been the village to the north in the swamp can it feels like there was there were a lot of things I missed But a one? Question mark. Darkwood was brought to you by Acid Wizard Studio. And your logo kind of looks like the... Uh, I don't remember his name. The first guy you meet in an inscription. So Darkwood, bodyguard, Zurak. That was the dog. Oh, okay. Yeah. Makes sense. I still don't know what the hell was going on in this game. Uh, I 
first we first day I was playing as a doctor, then I found me, I guess. Then I played that guy, and I'm sure that if I looked around a bit more, investigated a bit more, especially in the swamp, as I missed a whole lot in the swamp, I basically found the location of the radio tower and went there almost immediately. But if I looked around, perhaps a little bit more in the village, and those holes I found, uh, maybe I would have found more of the story. Because yeah, r right now I just know that this guy lived right next to the forest, and for some reason he got in. And um, why? I don't know. Who was the guy knocking on his door in the middle of the night? I don't know. I don't know a lot of things. But hey, yeah, that's Darkwood, I guess. Don't know what I'm gonna replace this game with, but I'll find something. <laughs> it's a fun game, though. Sometimes a bit frustrating, but that's because I made quite a few, quite a few bad decisions throughout. And I kind of sucked at making my nightly hideouts a safe place to be in. Ah well. Maybe I should, in my free time, I should probably replay it and see if I can find more things. Maybe even try a hardcore run, which I would probably just live for a night or two before I did something stupid and died. Anyway, that's Darkwood. 33 days. Can probably finish it way faster. Kinda now that, that I know where to go. wonder if the map is the same. Or if it's slightly randomized or just turned around or anything. And like I said, I'll find out when I replay this game in my own time, but for now... Thank you for being here, and you take care of yourself now. See ya.